This is a brief five-minute workshop where we introduce the use of Google Docs and spreadsheets as a tool to support collaborative teaching and learning in educational settings. Google Docs and Spreadsheets is often affectionately called Google Docs and Spreadsheets, a term coined by Bill Webb. One with a bright idea and one with a tangled strand of lights. Since this is only a five-minute workshop and we've included links to information about ourselves in the attachments area at the upper right-hand corner of the screen, we'll move on with our content now. After you've completed this five-minute workshop, we hope you'll have the necessary information to decide if you want or don't want to know more and do more with Google Docs and Spreadsheets. Many URLs are included in the Attachments section at the top right-hand corner of the page if you want to explore on your own. The image you see on this page is the opening screen when you log in to Google Docs and Spreadsheets. Collaboration has its root in Latin, meaning to labor together. Those of you who are interested in learning more about collaboration, with some special attention to online collaboration, are referred to the Attachments section for a link to the TLT Group's resource page on collaboration. There's also a link to a presentation like this one on research collaboration. We collaborate on many things and with many different people, many of whom are located in areas distant from us. For these projects pictured, my colleagues have been located in the same building, across the U.S., in Canada, and in Australia. We collaborate in a variety of ways. While postal mail and telephone strategies still work for some people, many have moved to using email documents and other voice over IP services to communicate with near or distant collaborators. Our piecemeal collaboration strategies don't work well for a variety of reasons. Multiple people can simultaneously work on multiple versions of documents not in a central repository. In the case where someone has changed some material, perhaps deleting a section that later was determined to be beautifully written, it may be next to impossible to resurrect it. And finally, when you have the time, energy, and desire to work on the material, you may be unable to access the most recent version. Within an academic setting, when students engage in collaborative projects, they must face these same issues. These are very often where the most unproductive time is spent in group projects and what sets students up for negative experiences in collaborative work. When students are faced with collaborative projects, particularly those that may affect their grade in a course, they're interested in access at any time to the most current version, the ability to retain all versions of material, making sure the revisions are saved, not having to learn another software program that's new to them, and the ability for faculty members to identify each member contributions. The programs noted on this slide all facilitate collaboration at no cost. You may want to explore some of these or similar programs. Links have been provided in the Attachments section at the upper right-hand corner of this page. We're really looking at Google Docs and Spreadsheets. That's a free web-based word processing and spreadsheet program that keeps documents current and lets the people you choose update files from their own computers. Anyone with access to an Internet connection can log on to GDS. Middle of the day, middle of the night, any of the hours in between. Documents are there and ready for viewing or editing. The GDS interface is similar to people who've used any number of word processing programs. In case someone is unsure about an icon, there are helpful mouse over reminders of its function. The revision history is archived. It's easy to see when materials have been changed and who changed them. The opportunity to compare two revisions side by side is a useful feature in some cases. For folks who get caught up in editing and forget to save, GDS automatically saves the document every few seconds. In case authors are dissatisfied with their work, they can also opt to discard their changes. Within a document, the contributions of each individual are easily seen because of the unique color of the contribution, as well as the identifying information of username, date, and time that are automatically inserted by Google. After starting a document, the author clicks the Collaborate tab and can then add people as collaborators with editing privileges or as viewers who can see the document but cannot make edits. People whose email addresses you enter into the Invite People box receive an email with a link to the document. The document is not emailed to everyone. Collaboration is a useful educational strategy. There's a growing impetus to prepare graduates who know how to collaborate with others. Collaboration poses challenges to students that faculty are able to help them address. Google Docs and Spreadsheets is an innovative collaboration tool and offered free of charge. We've quickly covered the several components of GDS that address students' concern with assignments that involve collaboration. As educators, it is imperative that we are vigilant for new technologies that can support the teaching learning process. For those of you who wish to go into the topic of Google Docs and Spreadsheets more deeply, the URLs on this page provide you with an excellent starting point. 
Congratulations on your completion of this five-minute workshop on using Google Docs and spreadsheets to facilitate collaborative teaching and learning. Make sure to visit the TLT Group's website for more professional development opportunities and need ideas about effectively using technology to support teaching and learning.